So, I'm not going to continue the Walter Whitefield quite yet, because, uh, I want just a mic burn fire. There's some YouTubers I watch. They do these Fallout New Vegas mods together, and I decided, I, I absolutely love this mod over here that there is. I might as well put it on my YouTube channel because it is just stupid, funny, and ridiculous ways. Plus, I can always make this a two-parter because he did, the creator of the mod, did make another mod continuing on this mod. Yes, very complicated, but it should work. So we're going to get into this mod. Zoinks. I'm gonna exit the game. I did not expect this to happen. What volume is it set to? I'm going to property here. This is a game I don't think anybody would be interested in. But if you are floating sandbox, it's about, I'd say ships, little model ships, and you can tear holes, put an antimatter bomb on it, stuff like that. This is a really fun game to me. So if any of you guys think it might be fun, or you just want to see someone play it and not play it for yourself. All right, good, that fixed the audio. So now you can hear me. I'll adjust that as we go, but I think that's around the same volume I need to be in. I would say? I don't know. Yeah, it seems like I'm around the same volume I need to be in. first ever build, so it's not going to be perfect, like the Walter White is, of course. Well, the Walter White build's perfect. I, I, I just got to say that right out of the bat. Uh, i got to run upstairs now. This is stupid. I shouldn't need to run upstairs. Oh, no, wait, that's what I got a bunch of holy frag grenades on me. No, I'm not bringing those with me. To Whatever his name is, Lair. That's not how it works here. That's never how it works here. I was going to do this in the meantime, but uh, I didn't. I guess when I had a... Randomly shut off my computer. Her, it did this. I also got the Groove of Trump. You know, it's just a brilliant idea me at the moment. It just dinged to me. Maybe I should get the Groove of Trump for my YouTube videos. That seems fun. Now, where is that? Where's 
something I Ah yeah, it's a birthday. Okay, that's the weapon we'll be using this playthrough. A brush gun. Don't know why a brush gun ever took here, I just thought about it. This bad boy, he is an upgraded brush gun. He has a forged receiver. I think that's the only thing you can get for the brush gun. I got the frame just dropped over there on the recording side. Gotta wait for those frames to come back up. Okay, then they're reaching it. Oh, no, 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 it just went down again. There we go, now it went. Okay. Yeah, it's still the climbing. So. Alright! We're gonna start this thing now. So, if I'm correct, the mod is called. Uh, in Madman's Disaster, I think. I can't remember. Pretty sure it's that. But, uh, we have to go to, uh, Novak. To get a paper. It's just my computer that's really laggy. It shouldn't be using it. Until I increased the, the quality and the frame rate on OBS, it's never did this. And you can see that from my older videos. Oh yeah, his name's Dr. Disaster, that's what it was. right across the street, technically. Fun. Let's see. Where's that little shack of this? There it is. Oh, let me activate henchman more. Some other fog to make this first. A madman's purpose, that's the name of the one. They know I'm here. I assume because the critter likes a big mountain. I figured there'd be lobotomites here. Is that just a big mountain like thing? Mate, why did you just give up there? Come on. You could have done something much better. But you didn't have to stand there like an imbecile right in front of all your friends. Don't sneak critical I ain't in danger. It's funny because it's true. Oh, 
Oh dear lord, someone has actually a really good gun with them. If I'm correct, one of them here might have a brush gun? Please tell me you had a brush gun on you. <gasps> Is a hunting revolver? What'd you have? Are you using I'm only using that Proton Max. There's nothing there for me. I'll walk over here. Oh, no. Huh, that's suspicious. Ah, uh, Hims Hub. What type of ammo do I got for this gun? I got Hollow Point. Do you even know there's Hollow Point? Ah, I can't remember what that one is. And then regular. Of course, I want to use this ammo. Seems more appropriate. Yeah, this looks just like Big Mountain. Strange. I would never expect something like that, this to look like Big Mountain. What the hell is happening here? This is dead. How is this still standing? I guess the mod author was a little lazy. Oh! Okay, that, that, that was a little violent there. It's Dr. Disaster. Yes, it is I. Dr. Disaster, the envy of scientific minds all across the wasteland. Ah, 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 ah. To what do I owe the pleasure of this meeting? Uh, I'm having your bitch tonight. My what? What are you? Oh, you're here for the job offer. Yes. Well, you seem able enough. Hopefully, you are ready to get right to work. Your first and only job as my henchman is to help get this mass relay up and working so that I may find the secret location of Big Mountain. This secret pre-war facility has eluded me for far too long. I seek to discover it and plunder its treasure of lost Technologies! <laughs> Why does he laugh so much? <laughs> Need a drink or something? Unfortunately, uh, the mass wheelie doesn't work right now. It needs parts to repair. Fortunately, that's where you come in handy. <laughs> Why is he laughing so much? Uh. There appears to be a lot of dead robots lying around. Yes, there are. <laughs> and why do you have so many dead robots? Where else am I going to scavenge valuable robot parts? Huh. But of course, I've gone through all these drones and have yet to find the circuitry I need. Oh! Uh, tell me about yourself, Doc. Well, of course. I'd love to talk in great lengths about me. Ah, 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 ah. I'll start from the beginning. I was born in Vault 16, very far away. It was full with nothing but smart people. Unfortunately, I had to leave because it was also full of pretentious assholes. That makes uh. sense. When I was 16, I committed my first murder. Ooh, what joy! He was a raider who demanded my caps. Instead of caps, I gave him my blade! Ah, ah! When I was 23, I took a drug called Neptune. And now I can see past the fourth wall! All became clear at that moment. I finally what? had purpose. I can see everything. 
That's how I know exactly where you should go without having never explored the facility myself. <laughs> of course. Unfortunately, I still don't know where the big empty is. So I still need help with that. Okay. But for 30 years, I have sought to uncover the mysteries of this world. I have also made plans to take over the moon. It's <laughs> <laughs> a pretty good plan. <laughs> Uh, but that's just a side project of mine. A side project. Know? A side oh, yeah. project. So yeah, that's about it. What else did you want to talk about? Uh, why is I'm having your bitch tonight? The secret phase. The secret phrase. <laughs> Developer inside joke. <laughs> you had to be there. Some kind of pre-war bunker or something? Well, yes. It was originally known as Area 101, one of the many research facilities located all across the states before the war. Okay. But I swear that when I discovered it, it was already abandoned. I've just reappropriated it for my own nefarious purposes. <laughs> Why do you keep laughing? Pretty big room. What are you doing here? This is the disaster center! My lab of operations where I commit horrible acts of immorality in the name of science! <laughs> so what do you want me to do first? You must go into the Milken Medical Center and retrieve for me a quantum compensator. That is your first mission. <laughs> a what? It's a... It's a scientific thingy that does stuff you probably won't understand. It'll have a quest marker, I assure you. <laughs> Once you find it, return it to me, and we can continue with my beautiful plan. Yes! Ah, 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 ah. Why do you laugh so frequently? It's because I'm thinking of really funny jokes, but I can't tell you them because they're also really dirty. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> okay. That makes sense. I don't have to see me yet. Well, then what are you still doing here? Go! Get it! You're not gonna laugh? Yes, leave me to my studies. There is so much to do and so little time to do it. Oh, now you don't. Come on, Dr. Disaster. Oh, oh, I wonder if, since this is technically a copy of the Think Tank, I wonder if the upstairs still technically have the stuff the Think Tank would. Unless, um... I think you're meant to get into this one. This one... This looks exactly like the Think Tank, though. Ah, uh, let's just be this one up here. Doctor Dis Doctor's Disaster to do this. One more open door over here. What could it be? No one knows. Oh. So this with locker. Call the cab. Locker. 
radiation locker. Oh, this used to be Doctor. Okay, the person. No, the person didn't do that. Well, good job. They did a pretty good job. in the foot locker. Scientist club. Now see here, the person actually had the appropriate stuff to do what he wanted to do. Right, so I need to go to the macro the medical center. I guess so. I guess I can go over here if you want to, but I don't understand why. Just, oh. Hey, go turn on the lights. Oh no, no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh uh, god! I, I, I'm getting at it. No. No. Uh, those are trauma harnesses. They are skeletons in. A Astronaut suits. It's a Doctor Who reference. No, well, it's based off of a Doctor Who episode. I can't remember. Uh, if I can ever figure out how to edit videos and add things into the video. Now, if I can, I'll probably do it for this episode here. I learned uh, that the trauma harnesses are actually a reference from the Doctor Who. So we based off of it. In this one episode, they had to go into a spaceship, stuff like that. And uh, when they got the space person out of there, it was just a skeleton. That's all it was. It was just a skeleton in the suit. I don't know if it comes back to live or something. I haven't seen that episode. But... Yep, there's a better book for you out there. It kills me. Because there's a flamer for some reason. Huh. Interesting. Yes, 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 yes. Ah, uh, yes. The rare floating... The rare floating telephone. Nobody has ever seen it till today. The rare floating telephone. They say if you make a call on it, you start floating too. So you hang up the call, of course. That would be a torture. Just floating forever. But still. I've only seen one of those in my life. They're very common. Oh, uh, well, we got our plasma caster. Can I, uh... I'm, I, I can't prepare that. Okay, well... Why am I... I duh. Now I gotta have caps locks on. Robco subject shipping error. This message is to Robco shipping. I regret to inform you that we didn't order a hundred dead bodies. There must have been, been a shipping error. We will be sending them back as we'll be sending back these bodies as soon as possible. Sorry for the inconvenience, Susan Carey, our secretary. Why would you feed dead bodies? From Faraday subject. Okay, message to the secretary. Dear Susan, I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry that I didn't tell you earlier, but I was the one who purchased those 100 dead bodies. 
My team in the main lab are planning on using them for cybernetics to reanimate the bodies. Although it won't be fully conscious, these lobotomites will work wonders in hard labor and other jobs that are too expensive to outsource. Thank you for wondering why dead bodies and not just the robots. Well, I figured it was a good way to kill two birds with one stone, experiment with cybernetics, and also obtain some cheap labor. I'm sure testing isn't perfect, and initial tests show that the lot of bites tend to be aggressive, especially when exposed to a large amount of radiation. But my team is fixing the issue as we speak. We will not be sending those those 100 dead bodies. I'll be sending back those 100 dead bodies. That's all. Chairman Faraday. To Robco. Subject. Never mind. Message to Robco. Shipping. Never mind. we have decided to keep the dead bodies. However, I'm not at liberty to say what we'll be using, using them for. But I assure you, we'll be using them in a completely moral and humane way. Although I personally do have questions how where Robco managed to obtain a hundred dead bodies, a hundred dead human bodies. But if we agree to not pry into your dirty business, I'd hope you'd do the same thing for us. Thank you for your time, Susan Carey, head, of sec head secretary. Okay, so you're... T I I'm not going to talk about it anymore because I'm going to get way too far into it. Egg slash one sense, which is crap out of here. I do that for breakfast. I don't really do that for breakfast. I just have the spooky, scary skeleton set. I'm stuck using this gun. Because I didn't pack any different guns. I know guns aren't always the answer, but here, when you're dealing with skeletons, they sort of are. Plasma. I, I don't like energy weapons. It was even hard for me to spec into energy weapons. I think you had a defender on you. Alright, let's miss. Freaking hell, I had a hunting revolver on me. Scientific thingy. Here's last note number one. Ranger Sequoia. It's just a 
ridiculous. Uh, at least I have a means of getting from someone besides using that trail carbine. Because just because you haven't doesn't mean it's good. The brush carbine. She, uh, the disaster defense, uh, disaster, uh, blah, blah, blah. I can't say it. Ah, uh, yes, Dr. Disaster. Henchmen, you return. Do you have any good news? Yes, yes, I do. I have the scientific form. Yes, now that you have the device, we can continue on. Next, I will need rare circuitry that can only be found in one place in this facility. You will find some in the body of the head sentry bot located in Rutherford Repairs. Go, my minion! Kill it and bring me its valuable insides. Ah! Okay. Uh, where can I find this the rare circuitry? Rutherford repairs. Kill the sentry bot and return to me with its insides. Yes! Ha ha ha! Uh, I mean, that, that, that must have been really that must have not been that funny. Yes. It, it really must have not been, to be honest. Oh, here. Oh, I, I could have taken a. All right, we're quickly, we are quickly going to go back to the strip. Actually, no, I'm going to stop here. I'm going to upload this video, so. Hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye.